Hi, my name is April Walker from the Yoga Ranger Studio. And today's practice is for all of you out there like me who have all of our attention buried in our shoulders. So I have been told by a million different people, including a lot of yoga instructors and some of my teachers, that I have strong shoulders, which is sort of, I think, a nice way of saying, I have a lot of tension in my shoulders. So this practice is entirely about your shoulders. A couple of props, one blanket underneath, not absolutely necessary, but helpful. A second blanket, which we'll be using for our first pose, which is a supported fish pose. So you're gonna take that blanket or beach towel rolled up. You're gonna go ahead and come on to your back. And we're gonna sort of start in this higher up position. So just get it where your shoulders are just hovering above the floor. I like to take my legs crossed or bottoms of the feet together, but you can keep them out straight. Same thing here. So try to get your forearms down to the floor. If that doesn't happen, you'll have to take them straight out, which is okay as well. Take some nice deep breaths into this upper shoulder area. Settle into your breath. Now, if you need some neck support here, you could use a second blanket underneath your head if you do not like this open neck position or if you have a previous neck injury. Just slow your breath down, extend your exhale. And by slowing your exhale longer than your inhale, extending it out, you're helping your body release the tension with your breath. So as you extend your exhale, you help the body slip into what we call rest and digest. I usually refer to it as heal. This allows that tension to sort of disappear on its own with the breath. Here you can pay attention to all the different feelings you're feeling right now, the shifting in the back, the different muscles readjusting. If you are like me, you can feel that blanket in the back and it is not terrifyingly comfortable. Know that we spend a large amount of our time hunched over and our shoulders rolled forward. So this is reversing that position. So it will not be terrifyingly comfortable. It will feel interesting and different because you are not used to this position. This is the reverse of your natural curve in your upper back and shoulders. I find that it sometimes helps me breathe a little bit deeper. This is also a great opening for the thyroid and for the chest and heart. I go ahead and bend your knees, bring your feet flat. You're gonna shift your weight a little bit more till your shoulder blades are on the floor. You can take the legs out straight or wherever you want them to be. So now the shoulder blades are just touching the floor. We're just going to be here for about a minute. We're working on that entire upper spinal curve. So the spine has three natural curves. The lower one curves in, then we move to the upper back, mid upper back moves curves out, and then the neck curves in slightly again. So. This is why you feel this so much more in this pose. Last two deep breaths here. You 
Go ahead and bend your knees, bring your feet flat. So very, very slowly moving. You're gonna take that left arm over, roll yourself over to the right, and make your way up to a seat. You can use that blanket underneath your seat to give you a little bit of height. Come into easy seated pose or the bottoms of the feet together in bound angle, whatever feels best for you. Take your arms out to the side in sort of a cactus position. You're gonna wrap right underneath left. So if this is as far as you feel comfortable getting, go ahead and stop here. If you wanna take back of hands to back of hands, you can, or palm to palm, eagle arms pose. Pull those elbows away from the shoulders, hands away from the face. On an inhale, you're gonna reach up, look up, take a couple of breaths here. Let the shoulders sort of sink down gravitationally toward the floor. And then exhale, go ahead and fold forward. So let those elbows head down toward the ground, toward the floor. I'm gonna slide off my blanket here because it feels a little bit weird. Breathe into that space right in between your shoulder blades, right at the base of your neck. If you can make your way all the way to the floor, I still recommend holding yourself up a little bit because when you touch down to the floor, you're losing some of that gravitational stretch here. On your next inhale, come back up to center, reach up and over, back to center and release those arms out to the side. You can hear all my shoulder popping back into place. Circle the wrists a couple of times and then we're gonna switch sides. That left underneath right, either side to side like this or palm to palm, back of hand to back of hand. Inhale, look up, take a couple of breaths here at the top. Let the shoulders naturally kind of flow down toward the floor. So in this pose, we tend to kind of bring the shoulders up toward the ears. Mentally think about releasing them down. On an exhale, go ahead and lean forward. Let those elbows come down to the floor, let the hands get heavy. Just about one more minute here. Start to bring those elbows back up to center, reach up and overhead, and then back to the middle, release. Circle those wrists a couple of times. So we won't need our blanket for our next few poses. So you can take that off to the side. Go ahead and come onto your seat, feet out in front of you. So we're gonna take that right hand round behind us, palm facing out, and tuck it up back behind you. You're gonna lay down very carefully on that. So you're gonna make some judgment calls here as to how long you can hold this. If this is a lot and you feel it once you lay down, you can pull that arm back down. 
If you don't, you can take it up a little bit higher on your back. Okay. Take your legs out straighter, knees bent. Take that left hand up and over. You're going to reach around, palm facing in, and hang on to the back of your neck or the back of your back, or release your head to the back of the hand. Take that left elbow down toward the floor. So sort of a cow face pose, arms here. We're not going to be here for a terribly long time, so don't feel like you're stuck here forever. Maybe after a few breaths you find you can shift that hand up or down depending on how you feel. So this is sort of my new shoulder routine in preparation for practicing either arm balances or anything that requires more shoulder opening. I find that I am much more safe and secure and strong and aware of my shoulder area if I've pre-opened my shoulders. in every direction that they can be opened. So I think this will enhance your practice if you are a Yang practitioner looking to deepen some of your poses in which arms and shoulders are very much involved in those. It's going to help give you a more opening. Just about two more deep breaths. Then you're going to bend your feet, bring your knees bent, take that left hand out from underneath you, roll over to your left side, release your right arm, take the arm out. All right. So before we take the second side, we're going to add on here. So roll over onto your left side. Keep that left shoulder way stretched out away from you. Right hand stacks on top of the left palm, and you're going to take your right point your finger and just sweep across like you're making a little halo over your head. Take that arm out to the side, back up and over like you're drawing a little line up with chalk or a pen up over your head. Just getting more moisture into that joint so it's more mobile. Last time here, we're just going to leave that open. Turn and look over your right shoulder. Take about five deep breaths here. Go ahead and bring those knees back through center. We're going to switch how we do this. So you're going to take that left hand palm facing up and out, up your back, lean back on it. Remember, each side is different, so this may feel very different for you. Legs either bent or straight. Take that right arm up and over. Grab the back of your neck or the back of your head. Let that elbow fall out to the side. Take some nice deep breaths. This takes into consideration the rotation that happens in your shoulders both directions, both forward and back. One more minute here.
start to bend your knees. Take that right arm out first. Lean over to the right. Take that left arm out. And stay here on your side, stacking palm on palm. And then once again, take that pointer finger and roll up and over your head. Three times. Nice. Slow, careful movement, moving the shoulder in all different directions. And then this last time, you're gonna take that hand straight back. Take five deep breaths here. Turn and look over your left shoulder. To your back. Take a couple of breaths here. Shoulders open. So go ahead and roll all the way over onto your belly. Our next pose is going to be twisted ropes. So you're going to take your right arm palm facing up underneath. Left hand palm facing up in front. Go ahead and cross those arms as much as you can. Walk them out. If this is too much, you can take a single version of this, which might feel better for your shoulders. So choose what you feel good with. I'm going to go ahead and drop your chin into the X. Let it rest there. Lift your chin up, start to walk your hands back away from each other. You can stack your hands on top of one another, rest your forehead here for a few breaths. switching sides. You're going to take that left hand underneath. If you're taking the half version, your right hand would go out in front. If you're taking the double, the right would be in front, left behind. Drop your chin into the X.
start to lift your chin, unwind those arms, take the hands on top of each other again, rest your forehead on the backs of your hands for about three breaths. And take these breaths just to sense that tingling, cool feeling in your shoulders and arms. And then taking your arms out to the side in sort of a cactus position, you're going to turn your face to the left. Get those elbows about as high as the shoulders or a little bit below. And you're going to start to roll gently over to the right. So you're going to keep your right palm down. Your left hand is going to come up. I like to use a little bit of either fingertips like cupcakes. You can roll where you stack the knees on top of one another or drop this left leg behind you if that's open for you. But here you kind of adjust, you want to feel a stretch, but you don't want to feel a strain or pain. Big stretch across the front of the shoulders and the chest. Roll back only as far as you can hold for about another 45 seconds or so. Breathe into the front of the chest and the shoulder. Last deep inhale and exhale here. And release back onto the belly. Turn your head the opposite side. Take a couple of breaths. And same thing here. Walk that right hand in a little bit. And go ahead and roll on to the outside of the hip if you can or that feels comfortable for you. Stack your knees. You can take that right leg back behind you further if you want. Just a few more breaths. Go ahead and bring that palm flat, roll back onto your belly. Rest your forehead on the floor or on your hands. underneath your shoulders just for one last stretch here just for about a minute walk your hands way out in front of you drop your head down to the floor and press through the palms and lengthen the back so we're not trying to open the back as much as we are the shoulders so stretch out through the fingertips 
Lengthen the back, take the hips away from your shoulders. your hands back up and come on to your back for Shavasana. Taking your legs out straight, heels to the corners of the mat. Take your arms up overhead and you're going to interlace them backwards. So instead of interlacing palm to palm, you're going to interlace the back of the hands together. Up over your head as much as you can. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath. Let's take some nice deep breaths here. Breathe into all that space in the shoulders that you've made. The chest, the upper back, the tops and insides of the shoulders. And then go ahead and release your arms out to the side wherever they feel most comfortable. Fully supported by the floor, back of the hands, forearms upper arms. more deep breaths. Maybe you take those hands alongside your hips or down alongside your hips. You can stay here for as long as you have, but if this is the amount of time that you have, you can start to bend one knee at a time, bring your feet flat. On an inhale, take your arms up overhead and stretch as tall as you can, pressing the lower back into the floor. And gently roll over to your right side, taking a moment or two here to pause. And then when you are ready, pressing yourself all the way up to whatever seated position you like best. Hands alongside the hips. On an inhale, sweep your hands up overhead, bring palms together, open your eyes. Exhale, hands to heart. Peace and namaste. I hope you enjoyed this shoulder focus practice. practice. And like myself, if you are someone who has a lot of tension or strength in your shoulders and upper chest, maybe this will help relieve some of that and give you more mobility in this area. Helping prevent headaches as well as helping you maybe work deeper into your practice, giving you more shoulder opening for some of the poses that are in yoga as well as a deeper breath. So if you liked this practice, please like and comment down below. And even if you would like to talk to me about classes that you would like to see, practices that you would like to see, lengths, styles, focuses, please let me know down below what you think. I am always eager to find out what people want to see and happy to work with you on that. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's a click button right down here below to off to your right hand side, my left. Um, this kind of helps you join our community and it helps notify you of the three videos that I drop every single week. So let me know what you think and I appreciate your being here with me. Have a great day and I hope your shoulders feel a lot better.